Make sure to enter this month's giveaway. Two $20 gift cards, one for the Xbox, one for the PlayStation. Follow the instructions on the screen and make sure to stay up to date on my videos. Next thing I would like you guys to do is do a quick favor, hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on as you are seeing here on the screen, send all notifications from this channel, and hit that like button to enter this giveaway. Yo, what's going down guys? It's your mate Casa back again here with a brand new video. Before this video begins, if you guys could drop me a quick like, let's aim for 150 likes on this video. Thank you for 10,100 subscribers. The grind is real. 2017 is our motherfucking year. Let's grind for this shit. Special 10k video coming out tomorrow. You guys will be loving it. It's be lit as fuck. So let's get into this video. How to rep up fast. Now I know a lot of people have been making videos on how to rep up fast. I'm going to give you the actual facts on how to rep up fast. Now people say all you do is play 2v2s. Now the 2v2s has changed to a 3v3 format. Now I know a lot of you guys are lower ranked people watching this video. You guys are underneath Superstar or Superstar 1. I don't play this game unless I stream it. I don't not like this game. But I got some tips on how to rank up fast. I got some tips on how to win nearly every single My Park game. My record is really good. If I didn't lag out so much, if my internet wasn't so bad before I got the new internet, it would be way better. But no excuses. It's pretty decent as you guys can see right there. But in talking to you guys, how to rep up fast. If you are below a superstar, do not even bother about going to Pro-Am. But if you're above a superstar, I recommend Pro-Am. But for you people who are lower ranked than a superstar, I highly recommend you make a center or a playmaking point guard. The reason to making a playmaking point guard or a point forward as, as that is, because if you're a point forward or a playmaker, you can get so many assists. And this is what I this is me hitting superstar. Now I hit superstar back ages ago. I was like one of the first superstars in the game. I was like number seven hundred out of whatever hundred hundreds of thousands of people there is on the park. Now three v threes is now the obvious way how to rep up. Unless you want to do two v twos, which is the same format as the three v threes. But two v twos you do get a little bit more rep. If I'm not mistaken, you get easier teammate grade. But three v threes are way more fun. This is me playing with some randoms. Now, you can play with randoms, but the only problem with playing with randoms is you must be known. I'm I'm pretty known to my server. That's why people know who I am. That's how they don't know how I play. But if you are new to the park, you're a rookie one. I've had a couple of rookie ones come to me and say, how do they rep up? This is simply how you do it. Getting assists is the number one thing, especially if you're a playmaker or a point forward. Get them assists. Very easy to get assists. If you're like a center, get your rebounds. Set screens. It's very easy. You people do not know this stuff. Most of most of these other YouTubers are saying the same shit over and over. I'm trying to tell you tips and tricks. Also, getting that pickpocket badge and spamming X. I know that's a very newbie move, but if you're spamming X a lot on the park, you'll be getting so many steals, and that actually gives your rep up. Also, if you're a point guard, you still set screens. You can still get rebounds. That's why my six foot four playmaker is such a god. He can rebound. He can get assists. He can get steals, he can get blocks, he can score points, he can do everything. That's why I love playmaking point guards or point forwards. They do the exact same thing. But glass cleaning centers, they can get box out, get easy rebounds and all that sort of stuff. So as I'm talking about this, I'm rambling on a little bit. But if you're underneath a superstar, the best thing to do is to play. If you don't have a squad, simply play a game of randoms. If they're good, message them, add them as a friend, invite them to a party and start talking to them. That is the best way to wrap up. If you have actually have chemistry with the people. Now, I do not have chemistry with these randoms at the moment, but I probably would if I actually gave them a bit more of a try. This is a fair bit away. I'm the 92% of my bar right now. I don't play this game. I haven't played this, this park game since I live streamed. Before that, I haven't played that for like a couple of weeks. I just do not play this game because it is so easy to wrap up. You don't really need to grind it out if, it, if you're really asking me. Look at this, coming around noobs. That's another thing. If you're a come around noob, that is a bad, very bad option for you guys. Because you're coming around a second time, you're obviously going to lose the second time. It's not going to help you. In saying that, if you're playing with other low reps with no badges, like the, just don't come on the park. Go get your freaking badges. They're the easiest thing to do. If you want some tips and tricks how to get badges, message me on Xbox, follow me on Xbox, I'll tell you guys how to get the badges. I'll even get them fucking for you. It's that easy to get badges. The most... The badges that you guys need are Pick and Roll Maestro, Dimer, Mid-Range Deadeye, Corner Specialist, Catch and Shoot, 
What else do you need? You don't really need any other badges. Just go get them shooting badges and Dima and pick a Royal Maestro. Go get them badges now and you'll be a god on the park. Trust me. That's all you need to get. Another thing. If you're pl the best thing to do is not play with two playmakers. The best option for you guys is a playmaker, sharpshooter, glass cleaner. Them three options on the threes are so OP on the park. If you're playing 2v2s, grab a sharpshooter or a playmaker and a glass cleaner. I highly recommend a playmaker glass cleaner combo because sharpshooters are fucking ass. Let's be real, man. They can zigzag on screens and brick shots. That's all they can do. They can't they can speed boost a little bit. But the dribbling skills are nowhere near as good as playmakers. So in saying that, as I said, recap, score, get rebounds, get assists, set screens, get blocks, spam X or square to get them steals. Next, if you are a superstar and above, I highly recommend do not go on the park, go straight to pro -end. Play all randoms if you have to. You see my record playing all randoms? It's pretty good. I've played with randoms about 50 out of the whatever games I played. I lost 28 out of them 50 playing with randoms. Now, that is a pretty good ratio, if you really ask me, because that's only 32 losses, like 32 wins and 28 losses. That's actually positive playing with randoms. Look at that green light right there. But still, as I said, this there. It's really easy to wrap up on this game. And if you binge it a whole day, if you're a rookie one, if you binge the whole day and got like 200 wins in a day, you're probably like an all-star. And after you're an all-star, after you get through the all-star one bar, it's so easy to wrap up. I don't, I don't recommend even grinding on this game, but if you want to grind, follow these tips I gave you guys today. I'm trying to help you guys out. The next time I come on the park, I should not see any more doo-doo brand shirts with a strip of generic pants, generic shoes, generic everything. And if I come on the park with these sharpshooters who jack up shots on three people's faces, I'll do fadeaways from full court. Get your shit out of here, buddy. You got no badges? If you're on the park with no badges, you're getting a hop and a message and a block. It's that simple. How dare you come on the park? And you have... I'm sick of these people with records like 1 to 600. Like, all these superstar twos with like a 1,000 wins to 2,000 losses. Like, buddy, you cannot be that fucking shit at the game. Let's be honest. It's that easy to win. It's double rep week and I'm not even fucking playing the game. It's that garbage. Park out the dark when doing the dunk coast test so I can dunk on some bitches. I, bring them, I might bring some my slasher at next game and show you how to dunk. All these other YouTubers are ah, fucking ass. I don't even fucking play this game. But in saying that, wrapping up on the Pro-Am, all you have to do is play. You can play with a two-man team on the Pro-Am. Playmaker, glass cleaner, it's simple. Me and my snicker. Do, used to do that. We only lost like one game and we always beat these randoms. I only beat a team of five on my own, on my own playmaker. That's how easy Pro-Am is. Pro-Am is the easiest fucking thing to rip up as well. It's like playing, if you're below a superstar, it's not even worth doing it. But if you're a superstar one and above, you get like point half a percent or point four of a percent before double rep and point eight to point nine after double rep. But double rep's fucking ass. Let's be honest. The servers are lagging. Everything is just shit on this game. I know I'm rambling on at the end of this video, but if you're a real subscriber, you stuck around to the end, salute to you guys, because we're actually grinding for that 100,000 subscribers. I don't care how long it takes. We're getting this by 2017. Happy New Year to everyone as well. We're getting that 200,000 subscribers. No, fuck it. We're getting that million. New videos coming out, not just NBA 2K. I'm not, I'm not sticking with 2K. 2K is just going to be a random video every now and then. We're going to be bringing RL videos to, to the to the table the next video the 10k sub special no one has ever done it for the 2k community anyway a lot of people have done it outside the 2k community but for the 2k community this will be a new thing for us but we're growing at a substantial rate at the moment i can't thank you guys that enough because i didn't ever think we hit 10k and as subscribers i say we need more active viewers so let's try to get the active viewers up let's try to do more active streams as well so if you want to see my streams Make sure to follow me on Twitter to be up to date. Because if you want to stay up to date with me, stay up to date on Twitter. That's the best way to do it. <sighs> I think this video is coming to an end, guys. I rambled on for a lot. I want to make the videos a bit longer every time. So if you guys actually enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, a comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys in the next one. Road to a mill. Catch you guys in the next one.